All right, so now let's start defining behavior for this house. So to define a behavior, we can use a method. A method is simply a function that is associated to a class. So all methods are functions, but all functions are not methods. So let's take a look. We're going to create a prompt because maybe if we're a real estate agent, we want to be able to give a small description to a user about how the house looked like. So we're just going to go by what we see in the primary constructor, which is the color and rooms. We want to let the user know, you know, what this house looked like in a nice, neat prompt. So to create a method, which is just a function associated to a class, we simply just use the fun, which is, you know, to create a function. And then we're going to make a simple prompt. And then we're going to open that up. And we're just going to use the properties that are already defined in the class because we know we're going to need we're, we're going to need to pass in color and rooms when we create an instance of a house. We know that's available to be used. So we can just have a print and we'll just make a message. So we'll just say the color of the house. Oh, I can't spell today is and then we'll just pass in the color variable using the dollar and then put in color and the amount of rooms and then we're just going to put like a little and then we're going to put rooms i just put a little colon in there so now we have a simple prompt defined in our class. Now to use that behavior, we have an instance of a house stored here in this variable called house. So to make a call, we, we just take that instance of the class called house. We use a dot and you guys can see what, what are available from this instance of this class or from this object so now we can see the simple prompt we want to select that so we just use a dot we get that simple prompt method and we pass in the open parentheses usually if you want to pass in parameters you could but since we're not taking any parameters we just leave those blank now if we run it yeah, as you guys can see the room is going to be full the bathroom is 5.5 the color is red and the house association fee is $500. If we run this, you guys will see that boom, the color of the house is red and the amount of rooms is four. So it is unique to the object that we created. So you guys can see that we're creating a prompt based on the color and rooms that we passed in in this constructor. And we're using those values to make a simple prompt. And if you want to make things more, um, you know, different or specific, you can also, you know, start adding in parameters or do different things like that. So if we want to do that, we can just do another one and we can't overload that, but we could create another name. I'm going to call this medium prompt. You know, before it was a simple prompt. Now it's a medium prompt and we could pass in some values. So let's see, um, and we can pass in maybe a Boolean. So um, we're going to have a variable called includes pool. We're going to make this a Boolean. And we're going to do this. And then we're going to pass in includes pool. Now we just use that same object um, and then call medium prompt. And now it's expecting a parameter. We're going to just pass in false because this house doesn't include a pool. And if we run that, and let me um, to make this a little bit cleaner, and let me comment these out. And these, I have a lot of prints. So the only, we should only be expecting two. And let me use Ellen here. 
and ln here so they'll be on separate lines um, and run that so boom the color of the house red and the amount of rooms is four and the color of the house again using the same prompt but we now had a additional parameter that you know asks whether it includes a pool and above here we said that it's false by passing in the false value and parameter and boom and it includes a pool and that is false it does not include a pool so you're gonna have to go to the lake so that is how you create methods in Kotlin for a object It's simply a method is simply a function within a class that is you know it's associated with a class so in this case these prompts are associated with the house class so these are the methods hope you guys enjoyed that and hope you guys understand what a method is